Hi, this is Catcomb One here, and welcome to another series of walkthrough videos. This one will be for Eric Alms Scythe 2, which is one of the wads my man played during a brief Doom interest in 2005 and 6. You may have may you may recall that I did do a let's play of that of this wad around this time last year. But this will be a walkthrough and I also didn't have any live commentary when I was doing my let's play. And I will be attempting an ultra violence, pistol stout, no save and no death walkthrough of the first 20 levels. Because it gets really difficult after that so I can only say for sure the first 20 levels of the wad and if you're looking by the way for a walkthrough of the first site with no save and no death I don't have any better time than now to refer you to my friend Big Mac Davis because that he has exactly that on his channel although if I recall correctly it's not a pistol stout walkthrough so I may do a pistol stout walkthrough myself of Scythe 1 later but for now I'll be doing Scythe 2. We will be starting today with map 1 castle entryway. You start in a rounded corridor with four zombies. So just kill them. And yes, you can't see the actual level names on the auto map here because this wad doesn't have a D hack patch in it for that. So you just get the standard Doom 2 level names. And the levels in this wad are split into five maps, which is actually a very nice length, length to have themed episodes. This, this first episode, if you haven't already picked it up, is gothic themed. And this level is two sequels. They're both accessible from the starting room. Notice this wall is missing a bottom texture, a bottom decoration. Behind it is one more zombie and a chainsaw, and that's our first sequence. Our second sequence, while I was killing the zombies, I actually shot a skull head on this wall and when you do that it opens up the second secret behind this door which has four more zombies and a shotgun and some imps and zombies will spawn in behind us when we pick up the shotgun. Sometimes they like to lag a little bit with the teleporting speed. But, and when we return back into the main corridor, there is an imp that spawned in there as well. Now in this outdoor area, behind this door, there's an outdoor area. First, to open this door, we have, it's actually opened by this witch. And there's just a combination of imps and zombies for the time being. There are some zombies far away to these windows, four of them, that I like to snipe off at this point and catch the imp on the bridge. Behind us by the trees, there's a green armor. And right in the entrance to the room, run on to the upper lava area and go along the outside for a, a yellow key. Now, we can pass underneath the bridge and there will be a, a demon to our right. As well as the blue and yellow doors. Of course, I just got a yellow key. There's an imp we hadn't killed already. Now in this next room above the stairs, 
There was a Keiko demon at the far end, and there's more zombies and imps. Now I'm going to run and get the, sh the chain gun, but I will also be waking up to shotgun those when I well I do so Go. that Keiko demon's got to give me room now I lost an opportunity while I was talking yeah I actually ended up killing him with my pistol but when you do run out into the room, whenever you run out into the room to get the chain gun, you could have done it earlier oh, and then because there's nothing that's going to overwhelm you. There are two shotgunners, two behind you and to my right. Now these bows this sign here is actually a switch in this one. So flip it and these bows will raise. You you will find a berserk pack, but as soon as we pick it up, there will be a bunch of demons coming out. So we will punch them. Now run the course and grab the stim pack and and there's a specto. I actually forgot there was a specto. Now from this vantage point, go to the right, run across the lava and grab the blue key and then hop down as quickly as you can before you take more damage. There's more shotgunners and imps that opened up by the blue and yellow doors. And the demon. You can grab two stim packs here and a bunch of armor bonuses in this compartment. And behind the blue door is our final monster of the level, a revenant. And behind the revenant, this starry portal is the exit to the level, so let's go in. That was map 1, castle entryway, a very solid first level, very easy. I don't think you're likely to die in this level, especially if you find the secret shotgun early on. But... It's what a first level should be in my opinion. It's well done for that and I have nothing to complain about. So in the next video for this, this walkthrough we will be playing Map 2 Rooftop Warzone. I'll see you then.